morning. Hello. Very good morning. Ah, nice to meet you. Yeah, so good to meet you as well. Hmm, thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Darren. I'll be your teacher. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good, Darren. That's good. So how I can say your name correctly? Exactly, Shaker. Shaker. Exactly. Shaker. Oh. So where are you from? Uh, I'm from India. Uh, from New Delhi. From, I from India, New Delhi. Exactly. Oh, well, that's very really good. Uh, India people speak English <laughs> and exactly. maybe Hindu. Can you can you speak Urdu or Hindu? <laughs> uh like uh, i can speak like mix both of i can understand like both are similar they are similar yeah i know it <laughs> but i've never been to india <laughs> but mm -hmm. maybe someday <laughs> yeah i hope so. so i hope so you hope so <laughs> that's good so how is the situation in india <laughs> how is the weather yeah weather is um, unpredictable Unpredictable. Yeah, exactly. Unpredictable. Yeah, unpredictable. unpredictable. Uh, sometimes it is cloudy, sometimes uh, it's lashing, sometimes it's drizzling, sometimes mm. sunshine. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's changing. It's fall. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a changing weather. Exactly. Well, it's our first time. Maybe mm -hmm. we can do an introduction about ourselves. So of I'll course, introduce yeah. myself. So as I said, I'm Darren. I'm an English teacher. Well, mm -hmm. My job working online. I'm from United States. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I like to travel. I've traveled to many countries in Asia, but never to India. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I've been to many countries in Asia, and I've been to Europe too, and Africa. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I I like traveling and making new friends. I've met many people from India. So mm -hmm. that's good. And I like trying new food, like curry <laughs> and biryani, mm -hmm. <laughs> Indian food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you so that's about me, I guess. <laughs> you have a good sense of humor. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. how about you? You can introduce sure. yourself. As you already know, my name is Shekhar, and in my free time, I like to being out in nature, doing a lot of exercise, like five kilometers running and like pull-ups push-ups yoga and reading books and watching reading books. Oh, watching disney anime that's in a nutshell about me thanks for listening to me so patiently oh you're welcome <laughs> so you, you like it, disney <laughs> mm -hmm. so how about your work what do you do for work oh uh, basically i'm a full-time student you're a full-time student. Well, that's a good job. You can learn every day. Uh-huh. Exactly. So what do you study? I'm studying English literature and history. History. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. All right. So, so that I we can help. Uh, I want to know specifically in U.S., where do you live? Oh, well, my hometown is uh, Arizona in Phoenix, <laughs> but right now I'm in Asia. <laughs> I'm not in America. So. Uh -huh. uh, I have I'm heard in... about uh, Arizona so many times. So what is special about you guys, especially of Arizona, Phoenix? Phoenix. 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 Of city, Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh -huh. Well, in Arizona, there's the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon It's like a big canyon, the big river. Nature okay. spot. Mm -hmm. You said you, you like nature, so maybe you would like to visit Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Surely. Like Grand Canyon. What? So uh, it is a type of like river. Yeah, you know, the canyon. Canyon is like the mountain on the side and the river is like in the bottom. Oh, the bottom it's the river. like, a, like a river inside of like a cave or something. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, it's called like Canyon. Like the mountain on both sides of the river. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, right. Nature. Uh, Nature. What, <laughs> what's the best thing being a like, traveling person? What's the best thing you learn from a traveling person? I'm traveling. Well, I, I, I studied some 
different languages and trying different types of food and seeing different cultures is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you get a different perspective. So, are you married? Mm, no, I'm not married. How about you? Would you like to? <laughs> I'd like to be married, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be married. Mm -hmm. I, so, what's your I plan? Had girl, I had a girlfriend, but we broke up. So, <laughs> so when did you wake up? Woke up. Last month. Last month. <laughs> One month ago. Oh, recently. Not so long ago. Recently. Not so long ago. Yeah, it was uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a very, very terrible situation. <laughs> because, mm -hmm. But now it's okay. <laughs> can find a, a better one. <laughs> yeah. So it means, do, do you have a like, platonic relationship? Platonic? What do you mean by platonic? Uh, I, it means that type of... Uh, like harmonious, like uh, honest relationship. Uh, uh, like honest, yeah. Honest. But, yeah, we, we broke up. So, but before, yeah, we were, had honest relationship communication. Mm -hmm. It's good. But it's okay. Maybe we'll find out someone better. Okay. So, what's something special about New Delhi? Oh, it's the capital of India. What <laughs> something? There are many tourist places here if you come. Tourist places, yeah. I, like, I've had many people who have been to India. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, India Gate, uh, uh, like uh, Red Fort, and there are a lot of like Akshardham, yeah, many places like Lotus Temple. Yeah, there are many places, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan. You know, Kyrgyzstan is, is very close to India, <laughs> so many, mm -hmm. many Kyrgyz people travel to India, I think, for, for business or study. So, mm -hmm. I guess relation is, is mm -hmm. good between India and here, Kyrgyzstan. So, mm -hmm. but how about COVID? In India, have uh, many problems from COVID, like America. <laughs> uh, um, at the moment, COVID cases are not increasing so much. Like it is, uh, I can say, in control. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Under control. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's under control. control. Good. Yeah, that's good. I think. Mm -hmm. So now it's safe. You can go out. And so, what is the main your... difference uh, living from like uh, Phoenix, like Arizona to in Kyrgyzstan? What is the difference you can say? What is the most, uh, you can say, cultural soak you find here in Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan is a more diverse country. <laughs> there are many different cultures. Mm -hmm. People speak many different languages here. In America, most people speak English or maybe Spanish. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but here you can say you're Russian and you can say people who speak Turkish or Kyrgyz. People speak many different languages. Many people from Pakistan, many people speak Urdu. Mm -hmm. Pakistan is more close, I think, than India. But mm -hmm. Some people speak Arabic. So many different types of food so how many languages do you speak how many languages do you speak well i speak english but i can speak some russian and a little bit of chinese and a little bit of arabic <laughs> more mm -hmm. difficult languages but okay so, how about you uh, you can speak english and urdu uh, yeah i can speak like a hindi like urdu and uh, haryanvi haryanvi language from India, from New Delhi. Yeah, exactly. Is it a, like a NCR part? Like, uh, have you heard about Haryana? Like, uh, Haryana is a place, from that place, a lot of med medal in Olympics win, always. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I know New Delhi and Mumbai and Gujarat mm -hmm. is famous place because of Modi, I guess. Right? Like, <laughs> major city. Yeah, my, my my friend, his wife is from Gujarat, but my friend is American. They live in America, but his mm -hmm. wife is Indian from Gujarat. So. Exactly. So I know mm -hmm. Gujarat is a famous place because of that. But I don't know so many places in India. <laughs> I don't know so much uh, about it. Your beard suits your face. It's a, yeah, it's a, many, many people in Kyrgyzstan have beard. <laughs> Maybe India too. I think many Indians like to have beard. Is that right? Exactly. That is a uh, here is trending in trend that thing beard. It's a, it's a trend. Yeah, it's like a fashion thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's trend. You can say that's good. <laughs> so it sounds very interesting. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, 
So have you traveled to some other countries besides India? <laughs> uh, no, yet, but I would like to give it a go. <laughs> You'd like to go to another country. Where would you like to visit? Uh, surely I would like to visit uh, uh, like uh, Times Square, New York City. You want to go to New York? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to New York. It's very crowded and yeah. mm -hmm. but, yeah, famous place, I guess. <laughs> but if you like nature, it's not a good place to visit because <laughs> there's no nature there. It's a big city. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe it would be better to visit like a Grand Canyon or visit like a Yellowstone. <laughs> yeah, in India, like a biodiversity country. If I have to go to nature. Country. India, there are a lot of chances for nature, but uh, I would like to spend my time like highlight of New York City, like Times Square. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, Times Square is a famous place, <laughs> but I think uh, Kyrgyzstan have more nature than. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Kyrgyzstan is all of nature, <laughs> because of mountains. <laughs> but in America too, there's a lot of good nature. So. Okay. That's true. How about the uh, other country in Asia? You want to visit Asian country? Oh, uh, I want to go for like uh, Thailand, uh, Norway, and Norway and Europe. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, these. Japan. Yeah, these country I like so much. Like Switzerland also. Japan, there are many. Mm -hmm. Many people from India, I think. I, I used to teach English in South Korea. I met many Indian people in South mm -hmm. Korea, but in Japan, I'm not sure. But I think okay, Germany, so, I think everywhere you can find people from India. I think every mm -hmm. Indian, they like to travel, right? You're a traveler. Exactly. Uh, I would yeah, like true. to talk about on, on this one. That's fine. Okay. We have a few minutes. We can do it. Of course. But I can't. Oh. First tourism trip to space ends with a splashdown. Mm -hmm. right, shall, shall we read vocabulary words first? Uh, I would like to directly but... go to discussion. You want to just do the discussion yeah. <laughs> without the article? So you know about the article. So you exactly. can tell me what are your thoughts on the inspiration for mission? What do you think about it? What are your thoughts? I can say this thing is completely incredible. Yeah. Like sometimes, like we are thinking that thing will take uh, like much more time in future, but it is possible now in our lifetime. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Sounds interesting. They come like so safely, like visited like Earth again so safely. So in this way, I can say uh, that is a very like awesome thing. You want to travel to space? Of course, space is, uh, I would like to explore uh, like about space, because space is uh, so uh, like uh, enormous, humongous. It's, it's enormous, yeah, it's very big and vast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Well, I can't see the questions anymore, they disappeared. <laughs> but well, yeah, maybe maybe you could take a trip to the moon. <laughs> Do you want to go to the moon? Uh, of Be an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So how about India? Does India have like a big space program? Like yeah, US India has China, like, a, like ISRO, like Indian Space Research Organization. Uh -huh. like yeah, a, that's good. Right. Like some years ago, two to three, three years ago, India just uh, like uh, launched a, a like uh, satellite uh, like type of rocket to like uh, moon, like Mars, like uh, so. Right. Uh, that is like a uh, failed, like a uh, connection is lost after some time, yeah, but uh, that is not a big deal and uh, our teacher like uh, told us like uh, if we only pay uh, like 100, 100 money like each person, we can create yeah. one more like satellite to go in space again. Uh, yeah, that, that would be interesting, yeah, because there's so many people in India, you only have to only give little money and you have... Mm -hmm. Enough money to build a rocket or something, right? Exactly. Yeah. That, that would be interesting. What do you think about the existence of aliens? No, oh, well, I, I don't know. I, I guess the space is uh, very vast. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. 
डू यू थिंक सो लाइक लाइक दे आर अवेलेबल लाइक दे आर दे एग्जिस्ट ऑन सम अनदर प्लैनेट लाइक Cause uh, that thing is so fascinating. Like they have like feathers to fly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. in our like stories as well, sometimes uh, we see that thing. Like when we watch some type of song, so th- that thing is a type of uh, like a nostalgia of childhood. Like angel, like angel, a type of like story something. So yeah, most people believe it in a story. But I guess you know, like America or Kyrgyzstan, you know, are very religious countries. Most people are religious, so they will, they do believe angels are real. So what's the longest uh, like ever you grown your beard? About about like this. It doesn't get much longer. <laughs> mm-hmm. So have a little you, bit longer. So have you tried like uh, completely like longer like this way? Not so long, but you know, I've seen here in Kyrgyzstan a lot of people have like beards like this <laughs> so long, <laughs> like this. Very, mm-hmm. Many people have very long beards. So, beard. like you know, Maybe some India people, too, like, like some people also they they don't like beard. They do like some type of comment like, why don't you cut your beard? Like what type? So, what do you like say to those people? What is your reply if someone says something bad related to your beard? Here, people they don't really do that because I guess most maybe they, <laughs> people have different mm-hmm. beliefs, right? They respect each other, right? They just say, "Well, it's my it's my beard. <laughs> I can choose if I want a beard or not." Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Anyway, we are out of time. The time is finished now. It's twenty five mm-hmm. minutes, so you can review the notes here. It was very nice to meet you. <laughs> exactly. And hope you en- mm-hmm. hope you enjoy your weekend. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot with your you are such a bubbly. And easy going, so smiley tutor. Oh, thank you. It's nice to meet you. And thank Can you I for also you being some... easy going and smiley. Uh, pardon me, please. Mm-hmm. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Can I ask you some questions quickly? Well, I have to teach the next student, so maybe I will not have much time. But you can book another lesson, and then. What's your favorite the word? What's your favorite word? My favorite. Word? Favorite what? Word. Favorite world. Word, word, no. word, word. Favorite word. Exactly. Oh, I don't know. I never. In English language. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe food. <laughs> like food. I like food. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Well, it was very nice to meet you. So have a good morning, and I'll see you next time. Of course. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye.